the Epic Games Store's next free titles have been confirmed, and the new release, Saturnalia and Warhammer 40,000 Mechanicus, will be free to claim from Epic's PC Marketplace from October 27th until November 3rd. They will replace Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition and Evoland Legendary Edition, which are currently free to download until October 27th. Make sure you stick with me to the end of the video to get the details. Without any further delay, let's get into it. Epic Game Store free game for October 27th should be the start of a new trend. Epic Game Store is doing something a little different with an October 27th release, and this should be the start of a trend for the storefront. The Epic Game Store recently revealed fans will receive Saturnalia and Warhammer 40k Mechanicus, and while both are solid additions to the storefront, it's the Saturnalia that should set a major trend. Indeed, Saturnalia is a day one release coming to the Epic Game Store for free, and as its competitors push day one releases on their subscription services, Epic Game Store would do well to adapt and repeat the process. As many know, Xbox Game Pass made a big deal about giving out day one titles, including all major first party games, while PS Plus is avoiding all major first party games but giving out day one games like Stray. It's not as often as Game Pass, of course, but these free day one titles are a major draw. It should be noted that there is a major caveat here. Xbox Game Pass and PS Plus are subscription services that players pay for every month, while the Epic Game Store is storefront. Its use is free, and the free Epic Game Store game games are an added bonus on top of that. Perhaps because of this, many free Epic Game Store games are older, though games like Rogue Legacy have appeared on it before a sequel release. Arguably, Xbox Game Pass and PS Plus have the stronger draw, base, and so on to give out day one games for free. The Epic Game Store, meanwhile, does not do this as often, nor could it probably. However, the fact that the Epic Game Store is free to use could be a major strength should it push this forward as a monthly trend, because its barrier to entry is slightly lower if limited to the PC platform. Epic Game Store giving away day one games is likely to draw in even more consumers than before. Saturnalia is an interesting indie horror game, for example, and while it has prices on other platforms like the Switch, playing it for free on PC is no doubt going to draw more horror fans in. And even if Epic Game Store didn't do it weekly, giving out one or two games for free that are day one releases would no doubt bolster the service further. Just as Sony adapted the new PS Plus tiers to compete with Xbox Game Pass, Epic Game Store should adapt the idea of day one releases and use its strength to push these titles and its services. Of course, Saturnalia could be a one-off, or it could be super rare moving forward, but day one releases on the Epic Game Store is a much needed trend. Epic Game Store users get a handful of free games every month. Let's now highlight more on Saturnalia and Warhammer 40k Mechanicus. Developed and published by Santa Regione, Saturnalia is a survival horror adventure also coming to Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox consoles. Play as a cast of characters exploring an isolated village of ancient ritual. Its labyrinth roads will change each time you lose all your characters, stated in official product description. On the other hand, Warhammer 40k Mechanicus sees players take control of the most technologically advanced army in the Imperium, the Adeptus Mechanicus. Your every decision will weigh heavily on the outcome of the mission. In this turn-based tactical game, will you be blessed by the Omnissiah? The Epic Game Store gave away 89 free titles last year, down from 103 in 2020 with the combined worth of $2,120. According to Epic, users claimed over 765 million free games in 2021. Next up, let's highlight some of the best games you can get on the Epic Game Store. The frustration with PC exclusivity aside, the Epic Game Store has a lot of great games to play. It's clear that the company isn't messing around and has successfully provided robust competition in the market. If you're wondering whether it's worth checking out, of course, it's worth checking out, and I have curated some of the best games you can get right now on the Epic Store. I'll start with Metro Exodus. When it was announced that the anticipated Metro Exodus would be an Epic Game Store exclusive, many PC gamers were less than happy. This was the signal that Epic Games was ready to compete in the PC gaming market. It helps that Metro Exodus is just an excellent game. The graphics, sound design, and story are all great, complementing each other nicely. It improves on the original in almost every way, delivering a post-apocalyptic experience that people aren't soon to forget. The game is survival-based, forcing players to think on their feet and overcome the obstacles in the tainted world around them. You should really check it out. Next is Hades. Bastion and Transistor quickly made a name for themselves as some of the best indie games on the market. This was all thanks to the work of Supergiant Games. Hades, the latest game in the company's lineup, has made its way to the Epic Game Store as an exclusive title. If you're a fan of Supergiant Games' previous work, Hades is an isometric action game. However, this time around, it surrounds itself with challenge and difficulty, sending players back to the start if they're slain. The game 
combines a gorgeous visual style of 2D backgrounds and 3D models for an excellent presentation. My next mention, in no particular order, is Observation. Esteemed game company Devolver Digital gets its newest title as an Epic Store exclusive on PC. Observation sees players trying to figure out what happened to a woman on a space station. While this formula has been done extensively in pop culture, Observation places a unique spin on it by having players take control of the AI that controls the space station. This changes the dynamic of the game and its story, adding a lot more helplessness and intrigue as players see the dangers of space and uncover the mysterious disappearance. By having players control the AI, they get to experience sci-fi horror from a new lens. Next up, Genshin Impact. Free-to-play games can be difficult to examine since it's easy to become swayed by a non-existent price tag and seemingly limitless content. The problem is that the more popular it gets, the harder it gets to maintain, which causes problems to arise. For Genshin Impact by MiHoYo, it seems to be holding true and offering a lot. The game already looks quite impressive with its visual qualities and gameplay, but says even more with its simple objective, explore. To explore the game, you arrive from another world with the goal to find your family and use whatever powers and friends you find along the way to discover as much as you can. Familiar with the game? Let me know in the comment section. The next game in our list is Far Cry 6. The Far Cry series has become notorious for introducing AI enemies who were so vigilant that they could spot the hero from the other side of the map. Since then, the sequels have gotten more reasonable in that regard, with a greater focus on survival and stealth. The series continues with the latest entry from Ubisoft, Far Cry 6, with the star power and talent of Giancarlo Esposito as the main villain. And an insurgency backdrop, this entry is packed to the seams with action and intensity. To explore the game, you're caught in the middle of a conflict with no peace in sight, unless you're willing to fight for it. Well, it's a game, and you have to play along by fighting your way out. Wrapping it up, we have Sifu. Where are the martial arts fans? This mention will interest you the most. Like the old martial arts movies of the previous decades, games have aimed to have a fair number of titles dedicated to making you feel like a combat master. However, as seamless as the movements can appear in action scenes and through gameplay, pulling them off smoothly can be a challenge all on its own. That's one that's offered by the indie studio Slowcalk for their breakout hit, Sifu. As the title would imply, you are not actually a martial arts teacher, but rather a young and talented student of one. The story drives you to use all the skills you've learned in order to seek revenge on those who have murdered your family. You'll face waves of strong and skilled enemies who will test your resolve and abilities at every turn. This is not a game to be taken lightly and demands the discipline that anyone who seeks to master martial arts should possess. I know what you're thinking. You want to check out Sifu, right? You definitely will enjoy it. Trust me. That concludes today's video. If you found the video helpful, please do consider giving us a thumbs up and don't forget to share the video with your friends and family. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.